on June 26, 1981, under the leadership of Frank Padilla, Couples for Christ, CFC, came into being with just 16 couples. In just two years, the membership grew to 160 couples in Manila. Being ardent evangelists, ready to ignite the fire to other parts of the world, the CFC community was brought to India in 1985, first time ever outside the Philippines. It was in Mumbai that the community first had its Christian Life Program, CLP. By 1987, CFC was present in various pockets of Maharashtra. Mumbai was the pioneer in carrying out missions in India. Responding to God's call, they evangelized throughout Mumbai, looking for opportunities to build CFC in locations of their existing members. The Lord gave them a harvest yearning for His Word. Our nine-month intercessory prayer for a family movement led us to a good friend who suggested we try CFC. I attended a couple of meetings in Barivli and brought back to Goa the CLP manual, what we now call a CLS. In December 1986, in Vasco, four couples gathered in homes in turn for the CLP to be faithful and avoid slipping in our own ideas we simply read out the sessions to each other before breaking for the group discussions. God did something amazing. We received a fresh anointing to work on our marriages and families in the power of the Holy Spirit. With great excitement, we made our commitment as members of Couples for Christ on April 10, 1987. A new work of God had begun in Goa. The words of Father Antonio Cotto, our then parish priest, CFC is the hope of the church and the salvation of the world still ring in our ears. The years following this, men and women, touched and transformed by God, took up the responsibility and went out on mission to various parts of Goa. The Lord used them to build and establish the community with committed couples there. The overwhelming need to involve the entire family in the Paschal evangelization led to the establishment of the Womb to Tomb Ministry in 1995 in Goa. Many members made their commitment to couples, singles, youth, kids and handmaids. These sections brought about a renewed fire and passion as they reached out to establish CFC kids, youth and singles. As the community started growing, more and more volunteered to offer their time in mission outside of their hometown. Servant leaders encouraged members to leave their boats and step out in faith to adjacent cities to proclaim the gospel. You know, uh, we were given the privilege to start our mission work in Belgium, 120 kilometers away from Goa. And uh, every Saturday, Anna would, you know, come from Margao, take a bus, and, and, give, and leave a place for me, in the, you know, take a seat. And she would be, and I would join her in uh, Uzgao, 30 kilometers away, close to my factory because we had to be in Belgium by 5.30, 6 o'clock would be the program. And this we did every weekend till the community established there. Doing mission work was not easy. We had to leave our three children behind every time we went to Belgium. But the grace of God was with us and we could see the hand of God in everything that we did. Probably that was the reason why two of our children became mission volunteers later in life. Esmi and I have been very fortunate to be part of the couples that started CFC in Vasco. We grew in our understanding of what it means to our, be a Christian. We grew in relationship with God, with spouse and with one another in the group. We then decided to take it to other parts of Goa. And finally, we wanted to take it to all parts of India. We had decided to take the responsibility of looking after Pune, after discussing with, with Esme and uh, the leadership agreed. But then I got nervous. 
tense, worried, anxious because I didn't know how to manage. The leadership decided to give me all the support. Esme said, it's God's work and uh, he will help you. And he did. Over the years, my faith became stronger and firmer. I became a more confident person. And I thank God for the privilege of serving in his kingdom. God be praised. The Lord used the following years from 1999 to 2002 to help every member strengthen their faith through continued spiritual growth and fellowship. Longing for the fulfillment of every tribe and every land to give glory to God, CFC entered into the peripheries of North India. Many heard the gospel and accepted Jesus as their personal savior as couples set out on long missions to Bihar. They not only experienced God's mighty protection, but also saw God at work in their own families. This was the starting point for a rapid and massive evangelization. Going on mission as a couple wasn't that easy always, but the fruits when we saw were very rewarding. When on mission, we always focused on building relationships among the people. We sat together, we ate with them, we lived with them. And most of all, we loved them unconditionally. And all that followed was God's miracle. I also saw how the bond with my wife strengthened as our dependency on each other increased. The truth is, no one ever goes empty-handed when we partake in the building of kingdom of God. When we served unconditionally, we saw how God protected us when we had threatening situations on mission and also saw how he came to our aid when he, we needed him most in our family. In 2003, the Lord opened doors for a great work in Daman. Couples traveled faithfully to build community there. The mighty work of the Lord eventually spread to other areas in Gujarat. God raised up a generation of lay missionaries willing to be sent forth on missions. We sat down uh, for our uh, praying over session in our CLS 21 years back. I who had been prayed over many times by powerful preachers but couldn't bring about any change in me. Lasting change that is. But this man simply told me, Sibi, surrender yourself and give to God all that you have. That is all what I did. This was the power of God meeting me. Our life has been totally turned around after that. We are nowhere the people we were before. There was a message from Mumbai, our elders there saying, volunteers are required for Jharkhand. Suddenly my wife said, where will you go? And uh, I went to uh, Jharkhand, various places, and I specifically remember one parish called Dorma, where we could see beautiful transformation in the people from the first day, the disinterest of the first day, to the absolute joy of the third day. That remained with me, and then we had the courage after coming back to go to the first parish after Daman, uh, that was uh, uh, the Pada in uh, Silvasa. So the seeds that were sown in Silvasa, in, in the Pada, were gathered in Dorma. That gave us the courage to go forth. And after that, we have taken the word of God to more than 50 parishes across Gujarat, Silvasa and Daman. This is all the effect of our taking the first step of going on mission. My wife and I went to Daman in Gujarat every weekend for three years in the late 1990s until we built the CFC community there. Over 20 years ago, when we felt led by the Holy Spirit to give up our jobs and work full time in the Lord's Vineyard, we had no financial resources to fall back on, just a roof over our head. However, at every stage of our life, we felt the Lord and His Spirit guiding, leading and providing for us and our needs and for our, the needs of our children too, in such a way that we could never dream of or imagine. Today, we stand in awe of God 
for all his blessings and for his faithfulness. In the same year, the spirit inspired couples to go to Mangalore, Karwar and Udupi, bringing many souls to the Lord. There came a couple from Bombay and with them we, the CLS was started. They used to visit us every week and in their visit they used to be with us for at least one or two days. And this happened for at least continuously three years of time. I was greatly motivated by their sacrifice, their love towards us, and the way they were rejoicing in seeing changes in the participants. God was at work all over India. As families went on missions, He raised faithful men and women in CFC to carry on the work. They gave up their careers to give more to the Lord to fulfill His mission. They experienced His presence in new ways. I saw our missionary brothers in Goa and I was doing a prayer for the Lord. I saw that I was also doing a prayer for my whole family. जा करके मैं प्रभु यीशु का सुसमाचार का प्रचार करूंगा। 2008 में मुझे एक सुंदर मौका मिला। तो उस समय मैं अपना होटल मैनेजमेंट का जॉब छोड़ दिया और एक फुल टाइम मिशनरी के लिए मैंने हाँ कहा। और इस प्रकार हम देखते हैं कि जब हम प्रभु के कार्यों में आ रहे हैं, ईश्वर बहुत सारी कृपाओं से मेरे परिवार को भरा है। ईश्वर हमारे परिवार में आशीर्वाद देने लगा मैंने महसूस किया ईश्वर का प्यार और हमारे पारिवारिक जीवन में एकता और प्यार में हम बढ़ने लगे और हम पति पत्नी हमारे पारिस के गांव और अलग अलग पारिस गांव में हम प्रभु का सच्ची हम बातें लगे हमने देखा कि असम के कई डायसिस और अरुणाचल के डायसिस यानी पारिस और गांव में सीएलएस के द्वारा हम गांव-गांव पहुंचे जब हम लोग सुसमाचार की घोषणा करने के लिए गांव-गांव जा रहे हैं तो ईश्वर का प्यार प्रदेश में समाप्त हमने देखा है परिवार बदलने लगा परिवार में एक तरफ प्रेम बढ़ने लगे इस प्रकार ईश्वर ने बाहर का कार्य किया और आज तक हम इस कार्य को करने के लिए गांव-गांव और from then on, the eastern parts of India began to grow greatly. The successive years saw a mighty move of the Spirit, where God restored broken marriages and empowered the same couples to reach out to those in need of the life-changing message of the Gospel. I was कैंटिकिस्ट का काम है दूसरों को प्रार्थना सिखाना और प्रभु के बारे में बताना पर मैं स्वयं प्रार्थना और प्रभु के साथ समय नहीं देता था पटना में गोवा और बंबई के भाई बहन आकर के सीएनएस की शिक्षा दी हम लोगों ने व्यक्तिगत प्रार्थना और प्रभु के प्यार के बारे में सीखा गोवा और बंबई के भाई बहन प्रत्येक दो महीने में आकर हम सबों को शिक्षा देते थे प्रोत्साहन करते थे ताकि हम सब आध्यात्मिक रूप से बढ़ सकें मैंने मिशन कार्य को झारखंड बंगाल आसाम उड़ीसा इत्यादि अनेकों क्षेत्रों में जाकर किया और क्रिस्त की ज्योति अनेकों आत्माओं को बांटा आज मैं इस कार्य को करते हुए बहुत ही खुश हूँ The fire of serving the Lord was burning in the hearts of every member as they were inspired by members who served them selflessly Amidst language and culture barriers, they continued to preach missions and invested their time in members to become future missionaries. At a time we used to think that we should also be missionaries like the ones who had come from Mumbai. And rightly, we were asked to go to Kerala. We accepted 
and we proceeded. There was a requirement from a Sira Malabar diocese for us to start missionary families of Christ there. When we went, went there, of course there were impediments. Like language was a big barrier and their scriptural knowledge was very high. We were novices before them. We had to create the required enthusiasm in them to listen to us over a period of time. Even though my language was not that clear for them, they could understand me and the mission progressed. Within a couple of years, from this first place called Kanjirapalli, we extended our mission to Trivandrum, to a Latin diocese, where also it picked up very fast and it is progressing. The wind of change was fast blowing. Different dioceses started opening doors to bring renewal to their families. One such was Bangalore where the first CLS was given in a house with just a few couples. We were active in the renewal as youngsters. And when we got married, we wanted to be part of a family movement. And that is when uh, we were introduced to CFC, which is now MFC, Missionary Families of Christ. And we opened our home for them to conduct a Christian Life Seminar. These brothers and sisters who came to give the program would stay at our home. And we were pleasantly surprised they would be up early to cook, clean, do dishes. They would end up serving us in our own home. And this, to us, showed faith in action. It also gave us a better understanding of this community. The young sections continued growing in great numbers, nourished by the formation received at every stage in the community. Many took time off to spend in the missions, serving thereby building an army of young men and women. I was 18 when I went on my first mission trip. MFC brothers and sisters who served at my youth camp and other programs inspired me to be passionate in our faith and say yes to missions. The MFC youth meetings instilled a deep desire to build the other youth like us. I was 17 when I went on my first mission and the joy I experienced sharing God's love to others as MFC youth kindled in both of us a great desire to serve Him in mission. When we got married, with the blessing of our kids, the joy just doubled. We were able to take our eldest son on various missions even before he could turn one and we are now looking forward to taking our younger one. It has been an amazing journey, serving the Lord as youth, singles and now couples. Looking back, I thank the Lord for the formation we received in the youth and singles that set our hearts on God and helped us to stray true to our calling. Evangelization bears its fruit when those who are evangelized are willing to serve and go on mission. As areas kept opening up, God used the most ordinary people in the most extraordinary ways. The Lord was building the next set of missionaries who would continue His work. I also thought that I would become a full-time missionary. For their friends, we wanted to take care of the CLS. और ईश्वर का चमत्कार हमारे जीवन में हुआ और हमारा जीवन बदल गया मेरी पत्नी से मेरा संबंध अच्छा हो गया और सुसमाचार का एक अमित आग हमारे दिलों में छोड़ दिया जिसके कारण मैं और मेरी पत्नी हम आसाम बंगाल छत्तीसगढ़ उड़ीसा झारखंड उत्तर प्रदेश मध्य प्रदेश चंडीगढ़ पंजाब और इन सब डायसों में ईश्वर के प्रेम का सुसमाचार का प्रचार किया दो हजार ग्यारह में हमें ईश्वर की बुलाहट हुई और हमने उसको स्वीकार किया और हम पटना छोड़कर मिशनरी फैमिली बनकर पंजाब आए अभी जम्मू डायसिस के लिए हम ईश्वर के प्यार को बांट रहे हैं God was also empowering members in many places to reach out in local native languages to share the good news. Couples boldly penetrated into rural areas relying on the Holy Spirit and allowed God to use them mightily even amidst their fears. We started the Kannada ministry uh, in the year 2000, early 2016. For the first year, 
uh, we largely spent a whole lot of time uh, interceding and preparing ourselves, translating the talks, giving mocks extensively. Uh, and uh, but our first break actually came uh, sometime during early 2017, where we were called to Balki to conduct a retreat uh, during the annual uh, Infant Jesus Feast there. Uh, it was a phenomenal experience for us, which opened our heart to what God can do in and through us, uh, through people who are unprepared, unqualified, uh, uh, fearful. But after that, uh, we were called to uh, conduct retreats in uh, Gulbarga, uh, and uh, we conducted several retreats in Gulbarga. Of course, we were not uh, uh, successful in uh, establishing a community there, but nevertheless, uh, we were able to share Christ and a whole lot of people had an encounter with Christ through those retreats that we were able to conduct in Gulbarga. Uh, after that, we have conducted several retreats in various other places. We well, conducted Kannada retreats in schools for children and as well as had missions in Hiriyur as well as uh, in uh, Shimoga. Uh, of course, right now in Shimoga, we have a full-fledged community. We have five couples who have taken the covenant. And uh, we're just thankful and grateful to God uh, for using us in such a mighty and powerful and beautiful way. Praise be to God. God opened doors to missions beyond borders to go to the ends of the earth, bringing salvation to all the peoples. Tony and I have been going on mission even before our marriage. MFC just gave it a focus, marriage and families. Thus we began taking our children on mission. But it was our mission in the Hindi belt that became our novitiate, a preparation to go to Africa. Archbishop Philip Neri Ferrand commissioned us on January 16, 2014. We touched down in Malawi on January 20th 2014 and over the next six years God touched many souls in Zimbabwe, Nigeria, Uganda, Tanzania, Ghana, Kenya, Botswana where we continued the work of evangelization through both MFC and LCSC. God worked miracles in the workplaces of many couples where they were offered overseas work transfers and thus enabling them to establish Indian diaspora in various countries at ease. My CEO had proposed the option of moving to Dubai to take care of the business here. And I was really nervous at first. But as I looked at the reflections of my personal prayer for the last few days before that, it was a clear call from Christ to follow him at all costs and to make sacrifices for the Kingdom of God. And then we realized that there was a need for a couple to come to the Middle East to minister to the Indian diaspora here. Although it was out of our comfort zone, uh, we still decided to heed his call to move to Dubai uh, with a clear commitment uh, to bring his word to his people. It's a blessing to know about MFC while we were in Bangalore. As we discerned, God asked us to come to the US as we look for work. As we came here, we really missed being part of the MFC community and really strongly desired to be part of a community. And in that process, God asked us to take a leap of faith and start the community here in Chicago area. As we started the community, uh, by nature, we were being introverts. We really pushed ourselves to invite couples for the CLS. So in the process of giving talks and sharing our testimonies, uh, we saw how God was using our vulnerabilities to touch the couples and the transformation we have seen in them as well as in ourselves is really amazing. I still remember there was a time in 2019 when we were planning for a CLS in Chicago area. There's not even one single family who turned up for the CLS. And that was a time, it was a hard time for the entire community. And that God was asking us to for a time of intercessory prayer. As we pleaded with God, God, God started opening up many avenues for us. Even using pandemic as a blessing for us to reach outside of the Chicago area, as we now have families in Delaware, Florida, and Atlanta. And even outside of the US, 
in Canada and in Costa Rica. As we look back, I really see the hand of God in the entire shaping up of the community here in the Americas. We were always of the opinion that no matter where we go, we will serve the Lord. And in the year 2019, I got an opportunity to move here to the Netherlands along with my family for work. And when we moved here, we, we tried to find out whether MFC community existed here. And to our surprise, we got to know that MFC community existed in most of the countries in Europe, but except in Netherlands. And as we found out that MFC did not have a footprint here in the Netherlands, we felt a strong calling and a deep desire to have it in some form or the other here. And this was our opportunity to serve God's people in a foreign land. Although it was a difficult one, we know that nothing is impossible for God. And we are here just trying to understand and work according to His will. In 2019, under the leadership of our founder, Frank Padilla, Couples for Christ FFL realized that it had outgrown its name and needed a new name that fully reflects its identity and mission worldwide. Our charism is evangelization founded on family renewal. We focus on the two most important aspects in the life of Christians in this world, and that is family and mission. In response to the Spirit's prophetic call for the community, in accordance with the evolution of God's plan and design and in preparation for the more massive work in this third millennium, Couples for Christ changed its name to Missionary Families of Christ. We rejoice for the gift of MFC all these years. We prepare ourselves for the massive work ahead of us. This is who we are and what we are called to do. This is our identity our charism and our work. We go out into the world as families empowered by the Holy Spirit to renew the face of the earth. We are Missionary Families of Christ.